let's take a look at some of the tools that are available in QGIS that will allow you to explore the information in your map. To move around, you'll want to use the tools that are in your navigation bar. If you click on the hand icon all the way to the left of this bar, you can click and drag your map around in the window. To zoom in, click on the magnifying glass with the plus sign next to it. You can then either click on the map to zoom in a fixed amount, or you can draw a rectangle around the area to which you'd like to zoom into. To zoom out, use the magnifying glass with the minus sign next to it, and then click anywhere on the map with it. To zoom out to the full extent of all the data in your map, you want to use this button of the magnifying glass with four arrows pointing out in the corners. As you navigate around in a map, it's quite easy to zoom in way too close or way too far away so that you can't even tell where you are. You can undo this by using the Zoom to Last Extent tool, which is the magnifying glass with the red arrow pointing to the left. Another way to help keep track of where you are on your map is with the Overview pane, which sits directly below the legend on the left-hand side of your window. To use the overview, right-click on the Towns layer in the Table of Contents and select Show an Overview. Now, when you zoom into a certain area, you can see where that area is relative to the whole state in that overview panel. If you would like to get rid of the overview panel entirely, go to the View menu, choose Panels, and then uncheck Overview. Next, we're going to look at selecting features. The selection tool is a pointer over a square highlighted in yellow. To select features, you first need to be sure that you have the appropriate layer highlighted in the table of contents. So if I wanted to select a certain college, I would make sure the college's layer is highlighted. Right now I would like to select from the town's layer, so I will click on METWP in the table of contents to highlight it. I can then click on various towns to select them. Notice as you click on a new town, the old town is no longer selected. If you want to select multiple features, hold down the command key as you click on each one. Once the features are selected in the map, they will also be selected in the attribute table. To see them, right-click on the towns layer in the table of contents and choose Open Attribute Table. Then, so you can easily find the selected records without having to scroll down through the whole table, click on the button that's the second from the left, and this will move all the selected items to the top. To clear a selection, click with your selection tool somewhere in the empty space of your map. A simple way to find information about just a single feature in your map is to use the Identify tool. The icon is a pointer with an eye in a blue circle. Just like with the selection tool, you want to make sure that the layer for which you're seeking information is highlighted in the table of contents first. Then you can click on a feature from that layer with the identify tool. You may need to zoom in closer to identify a particular feature. So if I zoom into Castine and click on the college found there, not only can I find out that it's the main Maritime Academy, but it will tell me all of the information about it that's contained in the database, such as its address and phone number, degree offered, directions on how to get there, and various other pieces of information. The last tool that we're going to look at is the measuring tool. QGIS has two different tools for measuring, one for measuring lines and one for measuring area. To measure a distance, say the distance between two schools, you click on the measure tool with the line above it, and then simply click at the beginning and end points of the line. If I wanted to measure along a distance that wasn't necessarily a straight line, such as along a road, I simply click a point at each bend, and the window that pops up will give me both the distance of that segment and the total distance of the line. If I want to start a new line, I click New, and to close the window, I can simply click the Close button. QGIS defaults to measuring in meters. To change this, I need to change the properties of the map, which can be found in the File menu, 
under Project Properties. In the box that opens, make sure that the General tab is selected, and in the middle of the box, there is an option for the map units, where you can change it from meters to feet. To measure an area, for instance, the area of a town, I use the ruler with a polygon above it. Just like with the measuring line tool, I simply click around the shape I want to measure, and it will tell me the area of that shape. 